Hey folks, Luke at Nowhere Special, um, taking over for James today, and we are still stuck in France, but we are visiting Orange Liqueurs now. Uh, right now I'm starting out with uh, Combier, Combier. Uh, it is a essentially a fancy uh, French triple sec that is on par with um, Cointreau. Um, triple orange based liqueurs are a lot of fun in cocktails. Um, I personally love orange based liqueurs and I love trashing the really bad ones and bringing up the really good ones and uh, or it sucks. Um, and uh, I'll say that like maybe you shouldn't go around drinking triple sec all over the place unless it's like with your 95 year old grandmother. Um, but I've, I've tried a lot of triple secs. I really enjoy them uh, and Combier is one of my favorites. Um, what I like about triple sex is you can get like stuff like how I just name dropped Lords. Lords to me is just like this syrupy orange garbage. And then like uh, you can move into some other ones where you'll actually like, you can almost taste like the orange peel that's in them. Uh, Combier is fun because there's, let's, let's give it a taste. So it's an orange based liqueur, so it's gonna be sweet and orange. What I really like about this one is you can almost like, it starts out and you can almost taste like that, that rind of orange in the, in the drink. And then it kind of goes into, um, it's almost like one of those little like orange candies or a tanger, tangerine. Um, it's really nice. It, it is not overly syrupy or sweet, which I mean, you can get really bogged down in some sweet syrupy just grossness um and combier is really nice and light and would just go beautifully in any cocktails like especially like because of the citrus zests that you get in this guy uh it would be really it'd go great with that like compare it with that um have it in a citrusy cocktail and it can really like this will come through very nicely i I love sidecars. Sidecars are one of my favorite cocktails that are um, that I, I love to drink and I love to make them. I've I've got a good little secret recipe for uh, sidecars, um, and this would go fantastically in it. Yeah, give it a give it a try in some cocktails. I think it'll uh, I think it'll work really well. I think you'll be really impressed. Don't ever buy Lords. Lords is gross. Enjoy, folks. All right, we're going to the French Caribbean now. We are doing Rum Clement's Creole Shrub. It's a little dicey here. It's essentially just a, um, it's it's a rum based liqueur. Rum agricole is kind of a, a rougher, less refined rum compared to modern day rums. If you guys know anything about rum funk, their rum agricoles are a lot funkier, a lot greener. Um, a shrub from the French Caribbean with two B's, a shrub with two B's is, um, it's essentially like, it's it's very similar to like a non-alcoholic triple sec. Our, um, yeah, it's, it's a sweet orange drink. And then they added rum agricole to it. So we have, and this one just had, happens to have Creole spices in it. So we have rum clement Creole shrub. It was a lot. Uh, I've used this guy a lot. It's a lot of fun. I like rum clement's products. Um, they are not like your mainstream rums normally. Pretty interesting. They have a coconut liqueur that is just out of this world good, and you should definitely try it. And that's coming from a guy who doesn't like coconut. So you get this, and you can definitely smell the rum agricole. Uh, you can definitely smell some rum funk. I will say this: like, I don't particularly like rum funk. I'm kind of weird on the on the rum funky, and I like some really funky rums, but I also don't like some that are moderately funky. I'll say you can smell it. It does not come through in your cocktails. Like you just, you, you really don't notice it. And then it's just kind of, you got orange and sweetness. Let's give it a taste. And this one comes through really nice. Um, rum funk is very, very distinct. And I don't pick any of that up at all in it. I mean, it's, it's not overtly sweet. It's pretty light, and then you kind of get like this this wash of spices that come over you at the end. Uh, it's really a great product. Uh, at Northside, me and my buddy did a, oh, maybe I shouldn't say Northside, but whatever. Um, we did a pairing of this with chocolate. 
ju just rum clement and chocolate and it was it was really 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 fantastic um you can throw these in margaritas or whatever you want um it's an orange based liqueur throw it in a cocktail this one is a little different so like play around with it put it in a like you have a cocktail that calls for triple sec throw it in there and see how much it changes it it's a lot of fun it's really good and like i said i i like i'm not gonna say all but i like most of clement's products they do a really good job all right to take you guys back to sixth grade Latin class, Solway. We are doing Destilare, which is Latin for something. Uh, it is a orange curacao um, apple brandy. This thing is, uh, it's pretty interesting little uh, concoction we got going. It's made out of Kentucky. Um, and we had some technical difficulties earlier, so I, I'm, I'm redoing this thing. Thanks, Mike Lofgren. Um, this is, this is a weird little product they, they have on their alchemic potations for alchemists and magicians. And I'd say that, that that's, it's, it's very, very fitting. Um, since I did the orange liqueur thing, I'm gonna talk a little about, it does say in tinch orange curacao in the bottle. So I'll talk a little bit about curacao. Curacao is a little island off of uh, Venezuela. And apparently the, like the curacao orange is absolutely disgusting to eat but somebody, some beautiful person, discovered a way to put it into liquor, and uh, that's what the original triple sec was, was curacao. Now we have triple sec. Uh, today, modern curacaos, which everybody thinks of blue, blue curacao, uh, I don't know why somebody decided to make it blue, but they did. Curacaos, to me, are kind of like a more orangey forward, um, less sweet um, triple sec is what they are. They're, they're really great. Now back to our Destilare. This guy is like, it's kind of crazy. It's almost like a magician threw like a smoke bomb or something, but the smoke bomb is filled with a bunch of spices. It's crazy. Like you sniff this and you definitely like, you definitely hit on apple brandy and orange. And then there's just like this crazy, crazy explosion of flavor, or not flavors, but notes within this. Um, I mean, it's like a train wreck of like baking spices just it's 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 kind of funky and I kind of love it um, and that's kind of where it goes it starts out with when you taste it, it starts out as um, orange train wreck of baking spices apple brandy it's it's pretty funky let's give it a taste not so much of a train wreck on that one I took a much smaller sip I've done this is my sixth slash seventh tasting today so i'm trying to take it a little easy so if you take smaller sips of it it actually is like orange and then apple brandy that's like a little orangey um if you guys wanted to test out like brandy sidecars this guy would be perfect for it because you always, you already get a little bit of orange in there it's already brandy based so it'll just strengthen exactly what you got um it's pretty it's pretty crazy and pretty funky i i, I really like this guy i hope you all enjoy it too